How's it going everyone? David from The Only Media. I made a tutorial previously about master styles for text in Premiere Pro, but there were a few questions that remained unanswered by viewers. And so I thought I would answer one of those questions as a Premiere Pro Quick Tips today. The question is from Diraj Singh, who says, does it apply the position and size as well to the other titles if we change it under the master style title? Now, unfortunately, it doesn't change the position, but it does change the font size. So I'm going to show you very quickly, if you have a number of text items in your project and you're applying a master style, how you can very easily also change the position of those to match that new style. So I've just got a plain white background. I'm going to stretch this out. Then I'm going to go ahead and create a new text layer with command or control T. And you can see that is in Minion Pro in the Essential Graphics panel, which is a horrible default font. I'm going to go change that to, I don't know, Gotham. Gotham's a cool font. Let's go for Gotham Bold. Let's make it all caps. Then I'm going to justify it centrally so that the layer is in the center of the screen. And great, that's pretty good. Now I'm going to make it Master Textile. Create Master Textile. Master, let's call it. And now if you go to your project panel, you can see there is a PR master textile file. So now if I were to go to the timeline and create a new text file, go into my essential graphics and I don't know, change it to a completely different font. Um, well, then I could just drag that master text template onto it and it will change the style, the alignment, all of that to fit there. And it'll adjust the font size as well, which is your scale, which you shouldn't be adjusting in the effects controls panel with scale because when it gets too big, well, you can see it's all pixelated because it's, it's not adjusting that scale on a vectorial basis in a way that when you adjust the font size in the essential graphics panel, it is adjusting that scale on a vectorial basis. So your letters will remain crisp no matter what size they are. So that's part one of the problem solved, scale. Just make sure that the font size is set to what you want it to be and it will adjust in the master style. Okay, so now let's say that actually I don't want it to be a title, I want it to be a subtitle. I'm gonna go back to my original layer. I'm gonna do, I don't know, maybe a background, maybe make that a black background. I hate that it goes to that kind of default putrid gray. Let's, uh, let's expand that a little bit and then let's bring that scale right down, that font scale. Uh, maybe expand it a little less than that. And then let's say, well, you know what? It's a subtitle, so it needs to be, uh, you know, kind of around, kind of around down here. And then we don't want Gotham. We want something like Arial Narrow. That's a pretty good subtitle font. And let's remove the all caps. Okay, so now if I wanted to push those settings to my master file, by clicking on this push to master style arrow, that's great. But the problem is you can see the other ones, they haven't moved in position. So that master style isn't taking into account these align and transform parameters here. But there's a nice easy way to fix that. If you go back to the layer that you made the master file from, just because that's the one you've moved, uh, let's reset this to, what would it be, 540 because it's a 1080 timeline. Now those are in the same place. Great. Well, now this is where we can use the position in the effects controls window. And we can drop this down to where we think it should be. Let's say there. And then you just have to control or command C that layer and select all your other subsequent text layers and command or control alt or option V to paste attributes. And there you can paste your motion. And there we go. And that is a nice and simple way of doing it. That way you can make more changes here if you want to. You could change that font back to Gotham for whatever reason, Gotham Thin, and then push that back to the master style and it'll update across all of the layers. So this one, you could say new text too. And if you're finding that you wanna change that position again, well, you just come along to your source one, change it, and then again, Control C or Command C, and then select all of your subtitle tracks and Command Option V or Control Alt V. And you just paste those attributes again and it will correct them. Unfortunately, that is the only way to do it for now until Premiere Pro decide to include those transform parameters in a master style. Anyway, I hope you found this useful. I hope it answers your question. And if you have a question that you think would make a good Premiere Pro quick tips, leave it in the comments below and I may well select it for the next one. Cheers. Okay.